of Battletoad contestants. I'm making this video because if you watched our first lecture, live or not, you're aware that we had some problems trying to get the Battletoad client installed using IntelliJ, and I thought it would be a good idea to make a short video just showing you how to get over that error and go through the process yourself. So, uh, to begin, if you're interested in doing your Battletoad work in IntelliJ, you start by going to Import Project. You need to find the Battlecode scaffold file, which you should have downloaded from our website, the same way you would with Eclipse. Uh, in my case, I have it stored and already extracted uh, here, my documents. You're going to direct IntelliJ to the build.gradle file. When you select this, uh, you'll notice here is the place where we had our error during the lecture. Um, it was not able to locate uh, JVM. Uh, so in order to correct this, if you're still getting this in your IntelliJ, which probably means you have a fresh uh, IntelliJ that doesn't know where to locate Java, uh, you're going to go here to configure. You're going to go to uh, project default and uh, project structure. And then you're going to be able to go to new here under project SDK and select JDK, and you're going to have to point it to your JDK. Uh, in my case, it was under C, Program Files, uh, and then under Java, and you direct it to this file. And so if you do this, um, you won't run into that error when you're actually importing. So if I go back and do that again now, uh, build.gradle. You want to make sure you set create separate module per source set, uh, use Gradle wrapper task configuration. In my case, this was defaulted, so make sure you change this. Set this to 1.8 and click OK. Uh, it's going to take uh, IntelliJ a little while to finish dealing with this. Um, you may get this error. It shouldn't cause problems for now. Uh, at least it wasn't for me. If we figure out how to fix it, we will definitely patch that in. And this can take a minute or two to actually finish going. I'll add to that our devs are recommending that people use IntelliJ over Eclipse, although everything should work for Eclipse. Uh, they feel that IntelliJ is going to be more convenient for just about anyone who wants to use it and happens to be a, a sleeker performance. Of course, it is a matter of personal taste. so. Use whatever you prefer, however they're pushing this on you. when IntelliJ is finally done. Uh, you're going to want to go to View, uh, Tool Windows, then you're going to go to Gradle. And um, if you look under Tasks in Gradle, go to Battle Code, then you're going to want to run Build right here. And this will take a little while longer, but it shouldn't take too long. And there we go. And when it's finished, you'll notice that there's a new file here, a new folder here called client, uh, under which we have an exec executable. So if you actually go to your source, you should be able to go to your source folder, uh, Battlecode Scaffold 2017, and then enter the client folder that you just created. And 
use this icon in order to actually start up the Battlecode client. As you can see, here's the client. Um, if you want, you can create matches from here by going to run match. It'll load the players first, then it'll load the maps. Loading the maps does take a little while. Uh, be patient. After they're loaded, you'll be able to run matches as many as you want. This will create match files, which you can then replay at your leisure with less loading time. Uh, just for demonstration purposes here, I created a match. Um, so you can see you just get it from your match file folder and uh, you can run it. Uh, this is just two example funks players playing against each other, so there's not too much to see here. Um, but yeah, this is the client started up IntelliJ. Uh, hopefully this is going to be helpful to some of you, and I'll look forward to talking to all of you at lecture on the second day. See ya!